Me either. We're all tired. It's a tiring kind of day. All right, so on this one, we're finding the equation of the parabola with the focus 0 minus 4, and the directrix is y equals 4. Okay, so you can probably see that you are in the form of a highlighter. Um, x squared equals minus 4ay. Okay, so when we're in this form, we're going to have 0 minus a as the focus, and the directrix is going to be y equals minus a. So from that, you should be able to go, well, okay, a equals. For all of those out in video land, he just stuck four fingers up at me. Thanks. Four or minus four? You tell me. Oh, that shouldn't say minus a. Going to catch me on those things. It should say y equals a. So what's a? You were right the first time I was wrong. Well done, four. Okay. So now we have to find the equation. What do we do? What form's it in? We've already drawn it so that we can see it, but we don't really need to because what form is it in? Minus 4ay, right? So we go x squared equals minus 4 times 4y. x squared equals minus 16y. Hooray! See what I mean? We can get through these quick now. Is that all right, doing that? I mean, once you recognise what form it's in, the sad face, sad face, um, you know it's x squared equals minus 4ay. They give you the focus, they're giving you the directrix, sub it in. Once you know what a is, you sub it in, you're done. You look so happy. Isabel's not like the rest of us. He's on fire. Or if not, he probably should be. She doesn't have a jersey. I'm not wearing mine either. She doesn't have to be in with the crowd. She's unique, just like everyone else. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah. You leave her alone. There'll be no bullying in my classroom, sir. <laughs> yes, and then what did you... No, we're not going there. <laughs> it did call for retaliation, but have you ever heard of what the Americans like to refer to as a... Um, uh, what, you, oh, what would we call it? Proportional response. Honestly, if someone accidentally walks on your lawn, you don't nuke them. Just saying. <laughs> Come on, America. I don't, I'm not blaming the Americans. The Americans have actually been very good at proportional responses up to a point, and then they just slip every now and then. So we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. All right, next one. We have to find the coordinates of the vertex, the coordinates of the focus, and the equation of the directrix. So, we have it already in x squared equals minus 4ay format. a equals 3. I assumed you said 3, not negative 3, Nick. We know how intelligent you really are. Okay, so what does that tell us? What, is, what does the a tell us? Now that we know that a is 3, what does that tell us? Don't forget, focal length is a distance. Distances are by nature positive. So our focal length is 3. Yeah? Now, it's in that format. So you should be able to tell me where the vertex is. Yes. Okay. So what we've got now is we have the vertex. We should be able to now work out what the coordinates of the focus are. How do we work at? What's the format for it? It's at 0, negative a, which is 0, negative 3. Cool? That's all part of the definition of the x squared equals minus 4ay. 
So we've now got the coordinates of the vertex. Tick. We've got the coordinates of the focus. Tick. Now we need the equation of the directrix. So what's the equation of the directrix? Now you'll notice we didn't actually, we haven't really looked at the image. We don't really need to. It's there and it's handy, but we don't need to. Where is the directrix? So it's y equals a, correct? So that's the equation of the directrix, y equals 3. Yes. Yes. I reckon in the HSC, I'd just write the words. Um, but if you have to write it more than once, the way to do it, like if you want like focal focus, for instance, um, you would put in brackets F. Uh, focal length, get out of it. You would just go FL, and that way they know what your abbreviation is. That's what I mean, that's what they do in articles and stuff like that because you don't want to use sort of like transatlantic railway every time you have to say it you'll just go transatlantic railway and in brackets tar and then move on and that way you can use tar from now on okay yes yeah mate. i think they should and i think if you did it and you did the calculations in the correct like if you wrote um directrix or well, if you wrote D and just put a colon and then put Y equals A and then Y equals 3, they would mark you right because they'd realise that you've done the directrix because you've used the actual, uh, the, the nature of the directrix. You've gone Y equals A. So they can see, yes, you know what you're doing. And realistically, that's what we're after. It's more for, like, if, if you're just writing FL equals 3, 95% of markers should be able to realise that that means focus length but sometimes you just don't want to take the chance. The other problem is with the F, because that sometimes means function, though it should be F with the bracket next to it. Yes, use it. Come on, I dare you. I'll make you right, as long as you get it right. All right, so are we happy with that one? Have we answered all three parts of the question? Yeah. Don's goose. Awesome. Um, all right, well, I'm going to keep recording and we'll do this next one. Uh, next one, three. Find the equation of the parabola with the focal length of five, whose vertex is zero, zero, and whose equation of the axis is x equals zero. So we haven't been given the directrix this time. We haven't been given the focus, but they should be fairly easy to work out. Okay, it's got a focal length of five. Its vertex is zero, zero. And its equation of the axis is x equals 0. So what does that tell you straight away? The vertex is 0, 0, and the axis is at x equals 0. So what's it tell you? It's in that format. Um, now, they have not told us, and you'll notice this picture has two parabolas. What have they not told us? Correct. But we haven't been given any information as to whether it's convex up, or, uh, sorry, concave up or concave down. Would you agree? So we don't know if it's x squared equals minus 4ay or x squared equals 4ay. So there are two possible solutions to this. Does that make sense? Biconcave. Okay. Um, so what do we do? What's a? Or? So uh, the focal length is 5, and I'm going to use your... Um, Thing. Focal length equals 5. Uh, therefore, A equals plus or minus 5. Does that make sense? Because they've only given you the focal length. They haven't told you, if they told you where the directrix was or where the focus was, you'd be able to find out whether it was a minus A or an A on each one. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, we don't know whether it's minus 4AY. So we're basically looking at X squared equals plus or minus 4 a y. That's in realistic terms what we're doing. So we've now got a equals that. So what do we do then? Sorry? It's simpler than you're assuming. What do we do now? 
Yeah, that's it. We've got this. We've got that. We only have the one unknown, so let's sub it in. So we've got x squared equals plus or minus. Why don't I do that? Why did I do that? 4, 5, y. G equals plus or minus 20y. Yeah? Happy with that? That one wasn't too far. Is that right? What's that? Stuff like this makes you happy. That's awesome, mate. Gives you hope. Oh, that's good. It's interesting. I really find it interesting. I'm going to pause this before I tell you what I find interesting. But I really...